was a night, just like this night, ten years ago today, when I've seen the worst wreck I ever saw, and when they pulled the charred body out of the mangled mess, it looked like this. Look away! Look away! I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> she's not hideous. She's a pretty girl in the whole wide world. My dog is a miracle, y'all. She was she was taking her last breaths in my arm on the seventh, so three weeks ago. I got on my knees in true faith. Standing on what the Lord had told me about four years ago and has told me several times that my dog goes up with me. She's made it through being mugged. I was mugged twice with her in my purse. So they got my purse and I got her back both times. One time it was 28 hours later and another time it was like 22 hours later. Um, and then she was stolen out of my house. She's been poisoned by the bat. She's been poisoned by gang stalkers, a.k.a. community-based criminals. I mean agents. She's been um, given the wrong medication from the bat. Um, a lot of crazy things that I counted. How many times has she almost died? Nine. Nine lives she has. Well, you know the saying, nine lives? Well, if this is her ninth life that the Lord just healed her from, I got on my knees in true faith and held her up to Father, you know, up towards the sky and said, Lord, you said she goes home with me. Please heal her, Lord. Please heal her. And uh, it was it was a pretty traumatic, probably, it was about eight hours later, she was healed. Totally no, no symptoms of what had happened or anything that was three weeks ago so i'm coming on to give that praise report on all hellos night halloween hello mcfly are you in there i hope you're not celebrating halloween if you're a true believer in christ you better not be doing it because it is a satanic ritual night and that's why i'm coming on all right so um Okay, so I don't know where to start. First off, um, they keep cutting me off when I'm trying to make videos. It's been really hard. I keep deleting and deleting more and more on my, um, well, whatever. I'm not even going to talk about that. But the Lord is giving us signs, okay? Also, if y'all are um, messaging me, if y'all are leaving comments, and you don't have a response for me, give me a couple days, okay? But I try to respond or at least put a heart on there showing that, you know, I read it because with all the stuff going on with me, um, they've got a construction site next door through the wall. So it's basically like it's in the house. They do this everywhere I go. Um, they won't give me my money back. And I was kept up till after midnight the other night. The police don't come. Um, it's a joke because the police are orchestrating a lot of it as if you're really targeted, you know, this already, and it's not targeted. It's we're persecuted because we're chosen by the most high God, but, um, long story short. And then they start early in the morning, a lot of crap with noise and that's to keep our vibration lower, keep us stressed out, obviously keep us from sleep. I get a lot of prophetic dreams. So because I hadn't been allowed more than one to two hours of sleep for two hours, weeks straight. And that's not a joke. One day I got six hours, uh, like two hours here, an hour there, and it added up to six hours. The rest of the days for two solid weeks has been one to two hours of sleep a day. And it'll be 45 minutes here, another 15, and it'll, I'll count it. It'll add up to about two hours. I'll just pass out from sheer exhaustion. So that's why I hadn't been getting a lot of revelation dreams, but I'm praying that um, the Lord is going to, is going to remove these people doing this construction. I went over there the other night when he was, uh, sawing at 10, 15 at night, drill sawing through the wall and doing nail guns on the wall next to where I'm sleeping. 
and it was 10 15 at night and and the noise ordinance is 10 and i said excuse me the window's open right and he's standing it's a big guy about late 20s early 30s and i said excuse me you do know the noise ordinance is 10 p.m don't you you know what he did turned his back on me and started walking away and that's when i said my and i said it calmly like this i said my uh wall is adjoined with with your wall so you're keeping before i could finish saying keeping me from rest he picks up a skill saw and starts sawing over me talking that's how demonically possessed and inhuman a lot of these gang stalkers are so anyway the lord it's the lord has renewed my spirit even though i haven't got a lot of sleep and i'm grateful for that but he's giving us a lot of signs so i wanted to show you all a few or maybe just one or two so this was two days ago maybe three let me see what day was it? october 28th it's on my phone so because i couldn't sleep i was up really early and i'm actually grateful for this or i wouldn't have seen it this was right when the sun was coming up so as you can see on the phone this is October 28th. This is what I'm about to show y'all. Or maybe not. I don't know what they're... Oh, there it is. Okay, let me... This was outside my back door. That's the sky, y'all. And this is a crappy $40 phone. And it still picked up how red it was. It was even redder than that. Than that. Red skies at night, red skies at night, uh oh, I should have taken warning. All right, sorry about my voice. Um, <laughs> here's another one. That's right when it was first coming up, and then it got redder, and it was over half the sky, not just a little area, half the sky. The Lord is warning. These are signs. These, these skies are not normal. But most people don't look. We're supposed to look for the signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Okay, remember how I was telling you all about uh, the Lord downloaded to me about O'Brien. I mean, uh, Orion, I'm sorry. It was O'Brien was what, when he first gave me the sign when I got a, a neighbor's male, who's a, another stalker, um, named, his last name was O'Brien. And then from there, I was led to Orion. And then I went, to look at a menu and the menu had potatoes, Orion and some other things. Potatoes are rotten. No potatoes are rotten. <laughs> and that's how the Lord will do. And he did, he used o Orion three times to confirm it. And then he also used Brian. Um, and now the Lord has been downloading to me. It's connected with the blue star, the star Kachina or the, uh, the blue Kachina. I was told that last year, right around the same time, y'all. It was the end of October, the beginning of November. So there's some connection here with this time when uh, the Orion's belt is visible in the, in the southern sky, I think. It's supposed to be from um, January through March. So remember, pray that your flight not be in winter. Um, the Lord is saying that when we see the Orion's belt, that's something significant with you, the 144K, uh, that that's when we're called up. Um, I was shown that in the Orion's belt, there's four colors of stars. I talked about this on two videos within the last week. So go back and look. I'll try to attach them. I'll, t I'll attach them in the comments, okay? Um, the star colors are blue, red, uh, let's see, what was the other one? There's, I know white, blue, red, green, and white. Okay, like the blue and the red pill, green, like the how the people that took the Vizax are going to turn into the seed of the serpent and glow, Lucifer, Luciferese, lime green, and then the white, that's our light. Well, um, I went for a walk yesterday morning because I was bit still being kept up and tormented with noise. So I just said, I'm just going to go for a walk. And I was led to go down the side street that I've never been down. And uh, I haven't been in this area before. And this was the lights on the building. There was only four of them. Okay. Yes, I know there's lights on buildings, but it happened to be 
a day or two after I was shown the four lights of Orion. And they're the same colors. Blue, red, green. And then the white one's not the same as these three. But it was like a strobe light. But still. But what is the white one? That's our light. We're the brightest of all the lights. We go through the Orion's belt. Okay, let me show you again. Here it is again. The Lord is really speaking when I notice these things. And he'll show me like the same day or within a day. Hopefully y'all can see this. Let me turn it this way. These are the lights in Orion's belt that we're going to be looking for. Okay. So I wanted to tell y'all this is a very evil, evil holiday. If you're a believer in Christ, we have the authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and nothing shall in any way harm us. Speaking of that, in the two hours of sleep I got day before yesterday or within the last three days, I can't remember. They all blend together because <laughs> it's like two weeks of no sleep. No sleep! No sleep for you! <laughs> anyway, um, I the uh, one dream that I do remember a snake was trying to get me which symbolizes Satan Lucifer the seed of the serpent a lot of the people that are going to be turning into this the uh, serpent seed that took it that are going to be Zahambe and they were a snake was trying to get me its head was about this big I grabbed it with my bare hand and squished it and killed it Never had a dream where I killed a snake with my bare hands before. The Lord was saying that's the power we have. Just like remember when Paul was shipwrecked and the viper bit him. And the people thought that he really was um, being judged by the Lord because he'd been shipwrecked and that didn't kill him. So then he was um, bit by a viper. But instead he shook it off his hand and nothing happened to him. That's our power. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, we can do these things. Jesus said we can do all these things and more. The other dream I had, the same time I had this dream, they were like back to back. It were just like real quick is all I remember because like I said, it was just a couple hours of sleep. But um, I dreamt that power was radiating off my palms of my hands. These witches, a witchcraft coven, which they are assigned to us. If you're a believer in Christ, you have covens assigned to you. And the higher your calling, the more, the more witches and Satanists are going to be after you. So just heads up on that. Stay in prayer. Be aware. And don't be as scared. But my hands were radiating power and light off of them when these witches encircled me. And I, I blew them back. And they blew up. I went like that and they blew up. And the Lord is saying no mercy anymore. The mercy door has been shut. Uh, we've been praying for these witches and Satanists and gang stalkers to repent. Uh, their time is up. Time is up. Um, I'm not saying that there's no way they can't be saved. But if they haven't repented by now and they're still casting spells and doing evil, especially on God's elect, but anyone, any child of God, as well as other people that could be saved, they're about to be burnt into the lake of fire which is open. That is the pit. La Palma, when that crashes, and by the way, I'll just go ahead and tell y'all, I'm by there. I'm, I'm not by La Palma, but I'm, I'm on the East Coast, okay? The Lord will provide me a ride because I don't drive 55. Um, he will provide me a ride if I'm supposed to be let out, but I don't have unrest about being here. The Lord showed me that we have supernatural protection. Even if, if a tsunami comes over us and you have the Holy Spirit, if you haven't been guided out of where you're at, then you're to stand where you're at. There's no fear. The worst that can happen is we're swept away. Well, guess what? The, that's the end of our gang stalking and we go home. We're, so what do we have to be afraid of? But if it's not our time in the Lord, I believe it's not my time yet. But is it your time and my time? Doesn't that make it our time? Aloha, Mr. Han. La Palma, aloha. Wow. <gasps> wow. Oh, my gosh. More revelation live on Jesus TV. And I'm sorry I don't show my face anymore. I just am under such attacks. If y'all want to know why I don't, I don't have the energy to actually make myself preventable. I haven't even brushed my hair today, y'all. It's in a ponytail. Oh boy, I take showers at like four in the morning. It's I'm just so exhausted all the time. So um, 
I'm going to try to um, be presentable soon whenever the Lord guides me to. But also, it's harder for me to focus on what I need to talk about if I'm looking at my face. Oh, my face. Snap. There she go. <laughs> and also, this channel isn't about me. It's about Jesus. So I don't want people focusing on me. Um, and I appreciate the comments that y'all thought I looked pretty um, on that last video. But that was four years ago. That was when I lived on my boat named Amazing Grace that came with that name. The Lord gave me that boat because I couldn't afford an apartment. I lived aboard this little rinkety-dink sailboat that I used to bail water out. If y'all if go back to my videos in the beginning of 2017, from January through May, you'll see me talking on that boat. I did my...